Should you go to college or not? That is an important question, whether it's for yourself, your kids, or a loved one. However, not many people discuss how to actually evaluate it. Today, I want to talk with you and walk you through the items you need to consider when evaluating the college decision. And I'll discuss advice that I give to high school students and their parents when I meet with them. So parents, this video is for you too. Here are some factors to consider when you're making the decision to go to college or not. First, you have to evaluate your career goals. Consider the type of career you want to pursue and whether it requires a college degree. Then you're going to research the job market in that field that you're interested in to see if a degree is actually necessary to achieve your goals. For many students, identifying career goals is actually too much of an ask. It's hard for you to know what the future will hold. But knowing your interest is a good first step. Make sure you go to a college that allows you to connect with industry. Faculty advisors and career counselors are really important here too. At the Hale College of Business, we work closely with our students to help them identify the possible career paths that they can take. Our student clubs and classes bring in speakers from diverse businesses in the Cincinnati area and beyond. Our classes have what we call experiential learning opportunities. And these are opportunities to allow students to see what projects industry partners work on so they could see what type of jobs that they might do in the future. The best way to identify your career goals is to start researching and asking people about their jobs. The next thing you need to think about is your financial situation. Think about the cost of college and whether you can afford it. Consider applying for financial aid. Things like scholarships and grants will help you offset the cost of college. And make sure that you consider the true cost of school. That includes the financial cost and the opportunity cost. And I'll go into this in more detail later on. And I actually am working on a video on how to evaluate the true cost of college. Next, I want you to think about your own personal aspirations. How does college fit in those goals? If you value education, personal growth, intellectual curiosity, college may be a good fit for you. I find that college is a great place for you to grow, to learn new things, to build your network of connections. And make sure that when you do pick a college, pick a college that values the same things you do. Next, I wanna talk about family and social expectations. The role of family is important. And think about the expectations of your family and social circle. Consider how their opinions may influence your decision and whether that aligns with your own goals and aspirations. Going to college is a personal decision, but we can't ignore the fact that the people around us influence us. Next, you have to evaluate the current market conditions. One cost of going to college is the money that you give up by forgoing current earnings as you invest in your learning to earn future earnings. When the economy is doing well and jobs are easy to find as it is now, we see that students are more likely to forego college as they capture the jobs in the current market. And that's understandable, but it is short-sighted. It's a short-term evaluation. You need to consider what happens when the market changes and it will change. Usually those without a college degree are more likely to be in jobs that disappear during recessions. We saw this during the COVID recession. The first jobs that were let go are the ones that required less education. So when evaluating going to college or not, consider what the statistics say. I'm a data person, so we gotta talk about the data. I found this report by the Bureau of Labor Statistics that evaluates the value of education. The report is titled, Education Pays. And it finds that individuals with undergraduate degrees tend to have higher employment rates and earn higher salaries compared to high school graduates. In 2020, the median weekly earnings for someone with a bachelor's degree was $1,305, while for someone with only a high school diploma, it was $781. Additionally, the unemployment rate for those with a bachelor's degree was 5%, compared to 9.8% for those with only a high school diploma. We are currently experiencing increased costs of college and the returns of investment 
are a big question and I understand that. However, the data shows that you are better off going to college on average. I did say on average. So it's worth noting that this is not always the case and there are many factors that can affect an individual's employment and earning potential. Things such as industry that they work in, their specific job role, their location, and their level of experience. Additionally, pursuing an undergraduate degree can be costly and many individuals may struggle with student loan debt after graduation. Next week, I will discuss how to evaluate the costs and benefits meaning the return on investment of attending college. So make sure to come back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, tell me how you decided whether you should go to college or not. My name is Dr. Abdul Abrani. I'm an Associate Professor of Economics at Northern Kentucky University. I love teaching economics and I love working with students to help them build the skills necessary to succeed in life. Look forward to seeing you next week on Economics with Dr. A.